Hello everybody and welcome back to Alex Lake Golf and welcome to the instruction part of the channel. Today we're joined by Marcus again, thanks for the channel. So you've got Challenge Shop Category for 2019? Yep, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to it. I finished fifth on the Alps Tour with Merit last year, including my first win in Guadeloupe that came in June. So now it's just practice, get as good as I can and, and, and it, it hit. Sorry, hit it hard when I uh, play in, in April. Perfect. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. To follow Marcus's journey, guys, there'll be a link down below uh, to his website and all his social media platforms. So give him some support and let's see him progress through Challenge Tour and hopefully on to European Tour. So today we're going to talk about your two power moves. It's always this big thing with pros to hit it yeah. a long way. And they all, everybody's all this thing on TV about what moves they do. We want to hear what are your two key moves to creating some power with the drive. Okay. My... I mean, power comes from, you know, a good stable base, good foundation, good fundamentals. So where, whatever you're working on with your, with your coach, I believe if you get, if you refine that, your club head speed will increase automatically, yeah. you know, if it's more efficient. It's about making the most efficient move you can. So I'm not built six foot five, you know, and I don't have an arm that's, you know, a bowed <laughs> wrist at the top, which is, but... I can still do things to hit it, you know, to carry a golf ball in the summer, 290, you know, in the summer I'm probably carrying it 285, 290, if there's a bunker out there that far, I'd feel comfortable in being able to, to carry it if all, if all systems are go. Um, I mean, my two things I'd, I'd, I'd say for, uh, you might hear uh, some top coaches talk about, is pressure in the ground and covering the golf ball. So when they say pressure the ground, they don't mean sway into your right side and come out of posture yeah i mean pressure it as in press into your right foot because then you've got the opportunity to like turn as hard as you can so if, if you're going to jump if you're going to jump left yeah. you jump like this I guess yeah the kind of people who would this guy's probably a big example yeah, of this. Yeah, 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 you can see his hit. So at the top of the swing, it almost looks a squat into your right side and then you've got the freedom to sort of power off it into your left side and clear and then you can get you know you can cover the ball and it will create a lot of club head speed so would you say there's anything that you've done in your practice to help you get the move because i don't think it comes naturally for a lot no of i mean you know the specific training that you can do in the gym you know your box jumps your squats i do you know your, your four power lifts um, that helps create a solid sort of posture uh, strong core back legs and this all the explosive moves you know in my bag today i've got three speed sticks that I was warming up with yeah, before yeah, um so that they help as well to just increase even if it's if you think uh, one mile an hour equals four yards you know if you can pick up three five mile an hour just by doing training you know three four times a week just 20 minutes at a time and i guess from going a bit into detail but from a strokes gain point of view yeah you'd be farther be a bit further up in the rough yeah than a bit further back on the Power, yeah, I mean, strokes, closer. yeah, strokes gained is a massive one because I, I'd rather, you know, the, I'd, the easiest way you can pick up strokes gained, um, if you read Mark Brody's Every Shot Counts, is by getting driver out on the tee. I say it all the time. You know, if, if we're playing the hole and someone's hitting two iron, if I'm going in from 100 yards and they're going in from 130, got a I've got an advantage. Off, yeah. yeah, and it's, it's okay, you know, if you get, because there's only one shot to hit with driver, it's just, hit it as hard as you can, as far as you can, then that's a massive advantage as well, rather than, um, you know, uh, you put yourself at a disadvantage with hitting a three wood sometimes. Obviously, if there's hazards and, you know, you've got to play the course, but if you go into the, to the course, I would always insist on getting a driver out, even if it's a little bit tighter than you think it is. Perfect. So, before we finish the video, let's see your rehearsal of your two power moves. Yeah. So you will just explain those two feelings again. Yeah, okay. So and give us a shot and let's see it go. So this is part of my pre-shot routine. Um I'll do it less on the course because I'll do the, these exaggerated moves less on the course because I'm not worried about technique, it's all about scoring. But when I'm on the range, it's very much so say if we're on the range now, I'd be going, okay, so I'd exaggerate the squat. Yeah. And then I would cover try and cover the golf ball with my with my right shoulder. And obviously, you can see it's delivering a bit of dynamic loft to the to the to the golf ball, and that allows me to explode and jump out of it. So if I really want to wind one up, you know, I'll, you know, you can see in my practice swing, I've got flared feet, so it could, I, I can create a nice big turn and get as much out of it as I want. So say if say there's no rough, 
and I, it was just a case of trying to step on one for a, a you know a, a bunker or a short par four then i would take this to the golf course i feel quite confident in it and i'd exaggerate the move and then i'd go ahead and step on one perfect step on one okay Like, felt like it was a bit faster, felt like it was a bit more explosive. And, it, you know, and when you do that, it becomes more dynamic. So you can actually get the flight that you want, the penetrating flight that's going to carry. And again, it's just pushing it, whatever level you're at, it's just pushing that boundary up a little bit and swinging it half yeah. a mile an hour, then it was a mile an hour, two miles an hour. And then, like you're saying there, if you could, like, chokes gained and actually having an opportunity to get it close to the hole off the tee. Yeah, like marginal gains. If you can pick up, like, say if you picked up three mile an hour in your driver, two mile an hour in your you know your iron play um you know that's going to equate to a lot over this over the course of what is going to be about 40 45 long shots um and around a golf so you can get closer to the green you take more advantage you can play the course as it's designed and um, play to your strengths if drivers want your strengths i mean last year um we talk about strokes gained i was uh, plus 6.1 on strokes gained driving alone and that's purely because i hit it about 10 yards, five to 10, maybe 15 yards longer than average. But I was pulling this out so often, you know, in comparison to my playing partners, because I wanted a wedge in my hand rather than a nine iron. Or I wanted an, yeah. Yeah, and you know, you're going in with a shorter iron, so you're gonna hit more greens. And you want more greens and less chips. Definitely. More longer puts and less short sides. That's Definitely. what I think. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on the channel. No problem at all, thank you for having me. Guys, thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elliott Golf. If you like all this content, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of instructions, reviews and tips coming throughout the year. Thank you.